So usually with a new software update, our advice that you do not update on the first day, usually because of bugs, especially if that is your only device and your main device. So for Pixel 4 a 5G users, I updated my Pixel 4 a 5G to Android 14 so that you don't have to. In this video, I'll be sharing my experience, how this way the software works, if there are any bugs, and also the improvements. Hi guys, my name is Melvin and if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you do enjoy the video, then don't hesitate to hit that like button. It means the world to me. Okay, so first of all, everything that is new with Android 14, I've already discussed in another video, which I'll link just above here. And anything I was discussing in that video was in relation to the, the Pixel 4 a 5G, so you can take that towards your Pixel 4 a 5G device as well. So Android 14, when I first installed it, was kind of very very janky like the whole thing was a g3 mess maybe because things are still optimizing and the optimization and the installation of everything took about 13 minutes for me and i had to wait for a while shot so but just the optimizing of the apps and everything took some time and everything felt g3 initially i was even kind of panicked the wallpaper and style app was very very buggy because of the new custom lock screen and everything so and the whole new design was not really working too well just the animations were kind of, they're no longer as smooth as they were on Android 13. But after like a day or two days, this is like the second day now of me using the device. But now everything is very, very smooth. In fact, it feels smoother than when I used it on Android 13. But also because I was forced to do a reset just in case. I actually started feeling smooth already yesterday. But I wanted to just be safe because people were saying that you can just do a reset. So you can get your full, like your full and function back. And I did a reset and everything feels smooth and it feels nice. So yeah, on the side of bugs, I feel like maybe I see some micro jitters here and there, but I'm just hoping that it's still the phone settling in. The models are kind of better now. I'm recording 4K videos now and they don't get, the device doesn't immediately go hot and don't mean that I have to cool down or something after like 12 minutes. So now it lasts longer. I don't really know how long because it has not given me the warning yet since I've been recording video. Um, camera improvements. I think there are also improvements to the camera, especially for the selfies. I think I didn't really like the selfies on the 4A 5G for a while, so that I even had to get a third party app to take it for selfies, but now they improve the selfies so much and they look much better now, and yeah, that's like one of the best improvements I've seen so far. Of course, they move things around here and there, I mean it's Android 14, I think I've already discussed everything in the other video, but when it comes to bugs, I feel like you guys should just hold out on updating the phone for now, maybe just wait for next month, let's see if they just smoothing things out now because it's still a bit janky we all know that this is the last update for the pixel 4 a 5g android 14 so why not get bigger than android 15 and what annoys me is that even with the beta and the qpr beta one and whatnot the pixel 4 a 5g is not eligible for those so i'm no longer getting any more feature drops no more feature drops and that means the ai, AI level paper that was going to come later in december is no longer coming to the pixel 4 a 5g and as well as also the cinematic wallpaper too is not coming to the pixel 4 a 5g this is literally like the this is the end device this is the last pixel device in support right now when it comes to third party apps i feel like third party apps are not really properly optimized at the moment because i don't know for some reason instagram took longer to load also x as well just those basically those two instagram and x They also changed the Snapchat animation to I almost forgot to mention that. When you open Snapchat, they change the animation. I like that a lot. But Instagram and X have been kind of jittery. But after now, I've them the second day now and they're actually very, very smooth, just like before. But so once in a while, you may see their jitters again and I feel like they should probably do some work to recorrect it. And one of the way that things now with all that I've said now, the tiny little jitters and stutters in the animations and in the UI, once I plug the phone into my laptop, maybe I want to transfer files or something, all of that just stops. Everything becomes as smooth as Android 13. It just becomes so smooth. So I feel like I don't really know what's going on, but yeah. Also, in terms of battery life, I feel like this is only two days that I've used it on. Normally, I use my phone basically on Wi-Fi throughout the whole day, but for today and yesterday, we had a little bit of light issues. So I had to be on mobile data, and I can't really compare with what I used to, the battery life with Android 13 right now. So.